Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's time for our children's message. Good morning. Yeah, that sounds better. So how are you doing today? Good? So Thanksgiving is like in a week and a half. Are you all excited? What are you most excited for? Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Food, right? You want to say something? Oh, I love that. Very nice. So you're going to spend time with family. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. So family time and food, like I've been talking to a lot of people or hearing like at work, everyone's talking about Thanksgiving. All the clients come in, they're talking about what they're going to take to someone else's house or what they're going to cook. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about what I'm going to get catered because I'm not, I'm not I'm tired of cooking. Yes. <laughs> My, my poor grandmother, she's probably looking down at me like, oh, all those recipes she gave me, they're sitting in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> Not going to be using them. But it's all about food, right? Good food and what we're going to eat. So what are some of your favorite foods for Thanksgiving? Yes. Cranberry sauce. Turkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, cornbread pudding and stuffing. Those all sound really yummy. So, so, so normally, right, I like mac and cheese. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. So normally, like around this time, everyone's focus about Thanksgiving is like normally giving thanks, right? But we're actually all sitting around eating food. The food is what brings us together. So if we make the focus about food, it's like what does food give to us? What does food do for us? Like I know sometimes when you haven't eaten brings you together. I love that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like if you're hungry and you haven't eaten, you get hangry and food makes you then happy. A few bites in and you're back to your joyous self. You're jumping around. You feel good, right? What else does food do for our bodies? Replenish. Mm -hmm. Gives us energy. Yes, there is a lot in food. Yes, absolutely. To spend time with your family gives you energy. I love that. So food gives us a lot of different things, right? But God can give us the same things. God is our spiritual food. And that food fills our souls and our hearts. And it does like the same things that you were saying, like energy, right? Food gives us energy. God uplifts us, gives us energy to keep going, get up, start our day. Um, God, uh, food is healthy, right? It helps us have better health and we're going to live a good life and puts us in the right direction of where we're going. And God does the same thing. If we follow Christ, God is taking us where we should be going, right? Um, food, what else does food do? Food helps us grow and gives us strength, right? And so God's word does the same thing. We read God's word. It helps us grow spiritually. It makes us stronger, so there was like a saying when I was younger, and it was, even now, I guess it is still a thing, but I heard it a lot from my parents when I was younger, my grandparents, and it was, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. But it was said to us not in a good way. It was like, don't eat that, or you're going to become that, you know? So, I mean, I should be a Reese's, technically, because I, I eat a lot of Reese's. But um, if we think about God being our spiritual food and we're eating that, then you are what you eat. That's pretty awesome because then you become Christ-like, right? That's a good thing. So when you're having Thanksgiving this year, yes, remember to give thanks. But if you want to focus on the food part, think about the coming together that food does for us. And um, as you're having your feast, I want you to remember that also we should feast on the spiritual food of God, not only at Thanksgiving, but every day, okay? So I hope you guys have a nice Thanksgiving, okay? Eat lots of yummy food, okay? <laughs> All right, let us pray. 
God, we thank you for uh, the food that you place on our tables every day, but also the spiritual food that you fill our, our bodies with, our souls, our minds, and our hearts. You are our number one provider, and everything that comes from you is good, and we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.